queendom right there. Woo! Woo! Imagine being wifed out to the brat and the queen. Lord have mercy. On some heterosexual energy, of course. On some heterosexual energy, of course. But my issue with the brat and the queen, y'all doing the sperm donation thing, right? Disrespect. I love the brat. They doing the sperm donation thing. Which I don't support. Something about that whole sperm donor piece sounds quite un-African and quite unnatural. What do y'all think about that, brothers and sisters? What, tell me what y'all think. Tell me what y'all think. I, to me, that sounds awfully un-African, awfully unnatural. To get sperm from a man you do not know. To get sperm from a man you do not love. To get sperm from a complete stranger. To cut the child off from their other biological parent forever. Something don't feel right about that, brothers and sisters. Here's what I would like the brat and her wife to do. And I don't support same-sex relationships. But here's what I would like for the brat and her wife to do. Although I don't support same-sex relationships. I want them to go find a man and co-wife a man. And the brat can get naturally impregnated by an unapologetically African alpha male. And there you go. You got a child, she got a child, and y'all have a man. That's the natural way right there. Why don't y'all just bring a black man into the mix? Why don't y'all just bring a black man into the mix? Why don't the brat who was beautiful and her wife, can't even believe I'm saying that, and her wife who is beautiful, why don't they just bring a black man into the mix and they can get all the babies they want? What do y'all think about that? What do y'all think about that? All they got to do is turn that into a polygynous queendom. Bring a man into the situation. That's what I want to do. I'm going to go on a campaign for all my lesbian sisters to transform your lesbian marriage into a heterosexual queendom, polygynous queendom, heterosexual polygynous queen. Bring a man into the equation. Stop loving on each other. Start loving on a man. Bring a man into the equation, brothers and sisters. See, we got to revolutionize black America. We got, why do I care? Because I am a pan, that's the dumbest question that you could ever ask me. That is the dumbest question you can ever ask a revolutionary pan-Africanist. That is the dumbest question. She said, why do you care? Lord have mercy. You don't know anything about pan-Africanism, do you? You don't know anything about pan-African nationalism. We are about the complete and total liberation independence and salvation of the African race. Everything is my business, sister, because we are one. There is no you without me. There is no me without you. Ubuntu, brothers and sisters. I am because we are. What do you mean? Why do I care? I am because we are. What do you mean? Why do I care? I am because we are. What do you mean? Why do I care? We can we can fix the rainbow ganging with the sisters overnight. We can fix the rainbow ganging amongst our beautiful African sisters. All we got to do is bring a strong man into that partnership. And that man will raise the consciousness of those sisters. I said the XY will raise the consciousness of the two sisters with the double X chromosome. I said the alpha male with the XY will raise the consciousness of the two sisters with the double X. And he will be able to transform that love for each other from a romantic love into a sisterly love. The right black man will transform that romantic love that the two women have. He will transform that from a romantic love to a sisterly love. And, the, and he will now become the object of the romantic love. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 
Every lesbian couple is a polygynous marriage waiting to happen. Every lesbian couple is potentially a heterosexual polygynous kingdom waiting to happen. I said every lesbian black couple in America is potentially a heterosexual polygynous kingdom. Oh, yes, brothers and sisters. Oh, yes. It's all Africans will be free or no Africans will be free. I cannot be a racist, my Neanderthal. And why are you on this? This is a private meeting for the African family. Can you please respect my right to converse with members of my race? I'm going to ask all Neanderthals to relieve yourself of your duty of distracting African people from our God-given destiny. I'm going to ask all Neanderthals right now. I know you support me. You're a fan. Okay, I understand you're an Ifa Tunde fan. I know that. And let me say this to the European queens who keep filling up my inbox. You can stop it. I don't need to see that you got an ass like a black woman. I don't need to see you got hips like a black woman. I don't need to see you got lips like a black woman. I don't need to see that you curvy like a black woman. You are not the black woman. You do not have the mitochondrial DNA. See, let me explain something to you. No disrespect, Italian queens. No disrespect, Irish queens. No disrespect, Greek queens. No disrespect, European Jewish queens. No disrespect, Anglo-Saxon queens. But I need you to understand. When a black man makes love to a snow bunny, there's no cosmic energy in that. You have original man entertaining his lust in the non-original woman. There's no spiritual activation when an African man lays with a bunny. No disrespect. Two different races. But when a black man lays down with a black woman, when we make love to our own women, that's magic. That's magic. When I lay down with a butter almond queen, when I lay down with a butter pecan, with a caramel, with a chocolate fudge, with an African vanilla, when I lay down with a hot peanut butter and a warm pistachio, that is sexual magic. A white woman, you can never understand what happens when a black man and a black woman, when they mate, that's the closest we get to oneness right there. When that black woman spread her voluptuous thighs, and she opens the womb of heaven for the God of the universe to come unto her bosom. That's the closest we get to being one. When a black man and a black woman make love, it's magic, brothers and sisters. It's magic, brothers and sisters. I know my lesbian queens, you want to be mad at me, but you can't. I know my lesbian queens, y'all want to be mad at me, but you can't. Y'all laughing right now. Some, I bet you the lesbian sisters is at home right now. And they say, you know what? He making some sense. Why don't we go find us a king and remix this whole situation into a heterosexual queendom? Why don't we go find us a heterosexual king and remix this whole situation into a natural polygynous African family? Pow! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yes. Every lesbian arrangement is a potential hetero to get rid of that queen, that European no disrespect to her, much respect to her, but you are a black man. Get you an African woman, my brother, so I can buy your jersey. The minute Joel Embiid releases the snow bunny and picks up an African goddess, I will buy a Joel Embiid jersey. Oh, yes, brothers and sisters. Oh, yes, the lesbian queens know I'm right. The les You know what I'm going to do? I got an idea. We're going to have a special private we would have to bring the lesbian sisters to the polygyny conference and see how many of the lesbian couples would be open to reverting back to traditional heterosexuality in a polygynous marriage with a alpha male. What do you think, my lesbian sisters? What do you think, my? If I could find you a strong black man to join your relationship. Would you be willing to transform back into natural African heterosexuality? Of course you would. 
Of course you would, my love. I love my sisters. You're not a lesbian because you was born that way. It's because of abuse from black men. It's because of abandonment from black men. It's because of trauma from black men. Let us heal all of that. I'm the revolutionary psychologist. Let us heal. We're going to have conferences every week. There's going to be a conference at FDMG every week. If you live in Houston, you better find out how you can fly the cheapest to Philadelphia. My California Africans, you better be looking up the air flights right now. How can you get to Philadelphia round trip the cheapest way? My Texas Africans, my Detroit Africans, my Chicago and Minneapolis and Little Rock and Milwaukee, Des Moines Africans, my Omaha, Nebraska Africans, my Caribbean Africans, Jamaica and Haiti, Turks and Caicos, Bermuda, Bahamas, St. Croix, St. Thomas, St. Martin, St. Lucia, St. Vincent. You better find out how you can fly direct to Philadelphia because y'all not going to want to miss out on this. Y'all not going to want to miss out on this. Let a strong black man walk into that house with those two black women. Let a strong black man walk into that house where those two lesbian sisters are dating. He can transform that. Brothers, you know what, brothers? We may just have to start invading some of these relationships and turning them into heterosexual kingdoms. We may have to start invading some of these relationships and turn them into heterosexual kingdoms. What do you think, brothers? What do you think, brothers? Not me, my brother. Not me. Well, if you believe that, if you believe, brother Dallin, I'm going to send you to the block party. But if you believe that I'm interested in males, I ask you to do one thing. Produce a lover that I've ever had in my life or produce footage of me having ever been inappropriate with a male. If you can do that, my brothers, I would have to abandon the FDMG project. I would have to turn the keys over to the African race. I would have to step down as the most relevant revolutionary for African people in the world. All you have to do is produce footage of me. I sleep in a hotel 75% of the year. I'm in a hotel room. It might be a hotel in Europe. It might be a hotel in Asia. It might be a hotel in Africa. It might be a hotel in America. It might be a hotel in the Caribbean. All you have to do is get the footage from the hotel of a man coming into my room. That's all you got to do. And I would have to give up the keys of the first school in American history built exclusively by African people. Produce a lover. Produce a man I've ever been intimate with. And I would have to abandon the movement. My brothers and sisters, I live what I preach. You Negroes been trying to scandalize and destroy me. First you said I had a baby by a white woman. Then you said I didn't have no degrees. Then you said I hustled the school. Listen. Produce proof and we will be all right. But brothers and sisters, I want to say this. If black men start invading some of these same sex couples with our sisters, I think we can do a lot more polygyny. I think we can build some strong polygynous relationships by invading some of these lesbian households. I really think we could. I really think we could. <laughs> she said, don't abandon the <laughs> Okay, let's move on. I'm disappointed in the brat and her partner because y'all should have got a black sperm, sperm donor. I'm disappointed in the brat and her partner because they really should have got a black sperm donor. I'm disappointed in the brat and her partner because they really should have got a black sperm donor. You're going to put semen from an unknown slave master in your vagina. You don't know who his ancestors are. You don't know what his personality was. You don't know what he felt about black people. I just thought that was not healthy, sisters. That was not a healthy move, sisters. That was not, we cannot do that. Black women, you got to find you a black man for the sperm donor. I don't even agree with sperm donations. I believe in building family. 
co-raising the child at least. I'd rather y'all have a baby together and raise it together even if you don't get married than get a sperm donation from a non-African male. A sperm donation from a non-African male. A sperm donation from a non-African male. I don't like the spiritual implications. I'm not judging or condemning. I love my sisters. I'm not judging or condemning. I love my sisters. I'm not judging or condemning. I love my sisters. I just don't like the spiritual implications of sperm donations in the first place. And then one from a caucasoid in the second place. Neanderthal ice male DNA lodging in your womb. The original woman goes out and gets the spermatozoa of a cave dwelling organism. But I still love the brat. She's still fine. Her partner's still fine. They just need the right alpha male to come in there. They just need the right alpha male to come in there and we can shut all that woman on woman love down. Brothers, we can shut it down because we caused it. The black man can reverse lesbianism in the black community because we caused it. The black man can reverse lesbianism in the black community because we caused it. My nose, it ain't nothing in my nose. I need that chicken noodle soup. I'm still waiting on the chicken noodle soup. Or some bean soup. I'm still waiting on the chicken noodle soup. What you mean is too early for this, my brother? It's never too early for revolution. Are you an African? Are you an African, my brother? Because you're a little light. You still could be African. We got light-skinned Africans. We got pale Africans. We got mixed-race Africans. But are you an African? Because if you're not an African, I asked all non-Africans to get the hell off my life. I thought I asked all nine Africans to get off my life. I thought I declared this a private session for the African family. Respect to the European, get off my life. Respect to the non-African Latino, get off my life. Respect to the Asian in the Arab, get your ass off my life. This is for Africans only. Jamie Foxx, let's pray for our brother. Jamie Foxx, let's pray for our brother. Jamie Foxx, let's play, pray for our brother. I would argue that Jamie Foxx is the most talented black man in America and has been for about 20 years. I would argue that Jamie Foxx is the most talented black man in America and has been for about 20 years. This brother not only won an Oscar for best actor. He also won a Grammy. And has a platinum selling music album. The only other person to do that. Is my Philadelphia brother Will Smith. The only other person to do that. Is my Philadelphia brother Will Smith. Yes Jamie Foxx was bunny hopping. And I pray to God that it wasn't no bunny I hope I pray to God no bunny didn't bring none of that negative energy on my brother. I'm going to pray for Jamie Foxx. I want you to pray for Jamie Foxx. I hope he come out of this situation. I hope they're not trying to put him through no Hollywood rituals. I hope this is not no Hollywood ritual. I hope this is not no Hollywood ritual that they doing to our brother Jamie Foxx. I hope this is not no Hollywood ritual that they doing to our brother Jamie Foxx. I hope that's not what this is. I hope that's not what this is. Keep Jamie Foxx in your prayers. He has children. Jamie Foxx came from a tough background. His parents gave him up when he was a child. His grandparents raised him. Jamie Foxx, I believe, is blessed by the Most High. He can sing. He can act. Comedian. Television show. He's the most talented black man of the past 20 years. Yes, Jamie Foxx is a better actor than Denzel Washington, in my opinion. 
Jamie Foxx is a better actor than Denzel. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, hands down. He's the most talented black man in America. Somebody said that Jamie Foxx was concerned about his safety. Somebody said Jamie Foxx was concerned about some potential harm right before he got hospitalized. Was somebody after Jamie Foxx? Was some, does Jamie Foxx have enemies in the music industry? Does Jamie Foxx have enemies in the music industry? We got to protect Jamie Foxx. We need security around that brother 24 hours a day. Y'all saw what they did to Michael. Y'all saw what they did to Prince. Y'all saw what they did to Whitney. Y'all saw what they did to Sam Cooke. Y'all saw what they did to Tupac. Y'all saw what they did to Big. We need security around Jamie Foxx, brothers and sisters. We need security around Jamie Foxx. Oh, yes. Al Sharpton says he might sue McDonald's. Al Sharpton says he might sue McDonald's because they're discriminating against black folks. Allegedly, McDonald's is only giving black franchise owners a chance to operate a McDonald's in the, in the black ghetto. Allegedly, McDonald's is only giving black franchise owners the right to operate McDonald's in the black ghettos. Did y'all hear that? If you want to open up a McDonald's, allegedly, they will only let you do it in a black ghetto. McDonald's want to keep the black owners in the black ghetto. Al Sharpton says he may sue. And I don't have a problem with Uncle Al suing McDonald's. I don't have a problem with Uncle Al's corporate shakedown. I don't have a problem with Uncle Al's corporate shakedown. But I want to know why you're not suing the white racist labor unions in New York City for denying jobs to black men, Al Sharpton. I want to know why you're not suing the school district of New York City for miseducating black children, Al Sharpton. See, my problem with Uncle Al, who has done some good things, who has done some good things, but my problem with Al Sharpton is you take on the you take on the corporations, but you don't take on the other institutions that have much more to do with the systemic oppression and disenfranchisement of black people. See, the reason you love to shake down the corporations, Al Sharpton. The reason you love to shake down the corporations, Al Sharpton, is you know they're going to end up with a donation for the National Action Network. Let's just keep it real. Can we keep it a buck? No disrespect to my National Af A Action Network family. No disrespect to my National Action Network family. But y'all spend too much time on corporations, just like the NAACP. Always want to sue a corporation. What about these racist labor unions? What about the miseducation system? What about the mass incarceration system? What about gentrification? Okay. McDonald's will be a thing of the past soon anyway. McDonald's will be a thing of the past. Fast food restaurants are about to be over. You can thank Uber Eats and Grubhub for that. Uber Eats and Grubhub did to the fast food restaurant. Uber Eats and Grubhub did to the fast food restaurant what Netflix did to Blockbuster. Netflix, convenient movies you can order on your phone, destroyed Blockbuster. Uber Eats and Grubhub is destroying Kentucky Fried Chicken. It destroyed Checkers. It's going to destroy Burger King and it's going to destroy McDonald's. That's right. Because now you can get Olive Garden delivered to your house. You can get Outback Steakhouse. I can order Bloomin' Onion from Outback Steakhouse. I can get my coconut shrimp from Outback Steakhouse. I can get my salmon from Outback 
Steakhouse. I could get my warm apple crostata from Outback Steakhouse. I don't have to go to McDonald's no more. We don't have to go to Burger King no more. We don't have to go to Checkers no more. We ain't got to go to Sonic no more. You can get, you can get food delivered. You can get food delivered from any restaurant you want. So McDonald's is going to be going in a minute. McDonald's is going to be going in a minute anyway, Uncle Al. I need you to focus on some real fights. Now, let me go to my sister, Brittany Griner. Brittany Griner, I love you, my sister. I don't agree with your lifestyle, just like I don't agree with the brat's lifestyle, but you, my sister, and I love you. And I'm sure that there's some black male trauma to blame for your sexuality. I understand. I'm sensitive and sympathetic to all black sisters. You're still the mother of civilization. But Brittany Griner, how dare you? Brittany Griner, you know I'm the reason you home, right? Sister Brittany Griner, are you aware Dr. Umar is the reason you're home? Sister Brittany Griner, are you aware that I am the reason Dr. Umar, you're the reason, excuse me, I'm the reason, I need some chicken noodle soup. I need some chicken noodle soup. I'm the reason you home. You know why? Because I said that if Brittany Griner does not come home before the elections last fall, we're not voting Democrat. That's what I said. And guess what? Brittany Griner came home before the elections. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm the reason that Emmett Till anti-lynching bill got passed. You know why? Because the day before they passed it, I went live and I said, if we don't get this damn bill, we're not voting. Oh, yes. You better believe that they got a Dr. Umar YouTube in the White House. You better believe somebody's watching my TikTok at the White House. You better believe they watching my Instagram. Somebody in the White House is watching this right now. You better believe it. And speaking of the White House, Joe Biden's press secretary, what's the sister from Haiti? Joe Biden's press secretary, what's the sister from Haiti? Shout out to my Haitian Africans. Shout out to my Haitian Africans. Shout out to my Haitian Africans. What's the sister's name who is the press secretary for the White House? The chocolate sister. She bad. That woman is fine. I hope she not a Negro pen. The White House press secretary from Haiti. That woman is fine as heaven. Lord have mercy. She better not have a snow puppy. Jean-Pierre, that woman is fine as hell. Chocolate beautiful lips, smooth skin, nice shape. I don't, she ain't necessarily five. Wait, I, I didn't really get a look. She might be five, five thick in the thigh, but she fine. And she better not have a snow puppy. My Haitian Africans, to all my Haitian Africans, y'all better make sure that damn White House press secretary, she better not have a snow puppy. And I hope she ain't rainbow ganging. Somebody getting out the car. Who is this? Don't worry about that. I stay strapped, brothers and sisters. I got to stay strapped in these streets. Don't even worry about that. That sister fine. Kareen, Kareen, White House. Pre that woman is fine. Whoa, that's a fine chocolate sister. My God, natural hair, that black skin, that smile. That woman is fine. Let's go to Haiti. It's time to take a trip to Haiti. But speaking of my Haitian sisters, there's one Haitian sister I absolutely cannot stand. There is one Haitian sister I cannot stand. She got on Tasha K. Wait, let me finish with Brittany Griner. 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 Brittany Griner, I'm the reason you home, sister. Believe it or not, I'm the reason you home. Go through my video feed on Facebook and Instagram and you will see. I'm the main reason you home. I fought for you. Yes, you lesbian, but you still my sister. I fought for you. I'm the reason your ass is home because of my influence over black America. Now, here's the issue I have with you, Brittany Griner. You just went public the other day, Brittany Griner, and you said you support the right for trans athletes, trans women to participate in biological women's sports. 
Brittany Griner, you support a biological man who now masquerades as a woman competing against biological women in biological female sports. My dear sister Brittany, how can you not see that as unfair? My dear sister Brittany Griner, how could you not see that as so inequitable? Sister Brittany, are you that caught up that you can't tell that that is unfair to women to let a biological man compete with them in a woman's sport? That is so unfair. Brothers and sisters, are you with me on this? Brothers and sisters, are you with me on this? Brothers and sisters, are you with me on this? How are you going to let a biological man wrestle a biological woman? How are you going to let a biological man play basketball against a biological woman? And because he had some surgery and took some hormone pills and identifies as a woman, he can now compete with biological women. That's. Listen to me. I'm not playing right now. I'm dead serious. You want to know why our children are killing men or choosing to be with black men instead of women in addition to infestation. That's right. Spiritual warfare is being waged. These gangster rappers worshiping gold and diamonds stolen out of Africa. All these gangster rappers worshiping cars and clothes. That is a demon spirit. That is a demon, a demonic spirit of materialism. A demonic spirit of rainbow ganging. A demonic spirit of bunny hopping. You think the snow bunny crisis doesn't have a demonic element? Why would a black man, the original man, why would a black man, the original man, choose a Neanderthal to carry his future generations? Think about that. You're going to choose a woman of the very same people that enslaved you, lynched you, Jim Crowed you. You will ignore the black woman and go to one of them. Are you trying to tell me? Are you trying to tell me you don't recognize the demonic influence? All these black men killing their black women. You got black men killing their girlfriends. Every other day, I'm hearing about a black man stabbed his girlfriend to death, choked his wife to death, beat his fiance to death. We are under demonic infestation. You have to look at our problems economically. You have to look at our problems politically. You have to look at our problems socially. You have to look at our problems culturally, but you also have to look at our problems spiritually, brothers and sisters. You have to look at our problems spiritually. There is demonic forces attacking black people seeking to colonize our minds so we never get back to being who God made us. There are demonic forces in operation. I think Jamie Foxx was hit with a demonic force. I think Jamie Foxx was hit with a demonic force. I think Jamie Foxx might have been hit with a demonic force. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Brothers and sisters, you have to pray. Don't ever let a day go by where you don't pray to the most high God by whatever name you choose to call Supreme Spirit. By whatever name you choose to call Supreme Spirit. And y'all go lay up with all these non-Africans. Do you know your spirit is most vulnerable to demonic possession where you are having sex? Do you not know your spirit is most vulnerable to demonic possession when you are having sex? Are you not aware that your spirit is most vulnerable to demonic possession when you are having sex? So let me get this right. A black man goes and lays down with a non-African woman. You bring these negative energies and negative ancestors from their family tree back to the black community. You black men laying with these snow bunnies unprotected. And you're bringing back their negative ancestors and their demonic spirits back to the black community.
You're bringing the waste and the filth back to the black community. I told black women this. TikTok, y'all still with me? TikTok, y'all still with me? 